What if GM built a mid-sized family sedan that people actually wanted to buy? Fully redesigned for 2016, the Chevy Malibu might finally qualify. You see, in the past, it's been way too easy to dismiss Chevy's mid-sized sedan as just a rental car mainstay, a car that you got for a week in Orlando, and then you were done with it. Its slab-sided styling was boring, and the rear seat was simply too small. Renamed Malibu Limited, this car does hang around for a bit more. But that outgoing Malibu had some strong points. It had a quiet cabin, a great ride, and a simple infotainment system. Can GM hold on to the Malibu's old strong points while fixing its weaknesses? Well, it looks like they did. Styling's much more attractive. Now the Malibu flows rakishly from head to toe. With a sweeping rear pillar and a short trunk lid, it looks a bit like an Audi A7. Rear seat legroom is much more spacious as well. And driving this Malibu, well, it's more pleasant overall than driving a Honda Accord. The cabin is quiet inside and the Chevy rides well, even with the 19 inch tires of this top trim Premier. It feels very composed and planted at speed, but not exactly sporty. Indeed, the biggest knock against the Malibu is that while it's a great accomplishment for General Motors, it doesn't exactly break new ground. You see, the Ford Fusion proved that America could build a shapely, quiet, great riding, fun to drive sedan, and that was four model years ago. The Malibu is also in philosophical lockstep with the Fusion under the hood, with a pair of turbocharged four cylinders and no V6. The base engine is a 1.5 liter turbo four that makes 163 horsepower. Now this isn't the most impressive engine out there. It has a raspy note to it, and while it feels quick off the line, it runs out of steam fast. The upper level 2 liter, 250 horsepower turbo four is much more pleasant. It sounds more cultured and power is effortless. Both of these engines are mated to conventional automatics, six speeds for the 1.5 liter and an eight speed for the two liter. Going with a conventional automatic skips the frustrations that often come with the roaring continuously variable transmissions or CVTs found in many rivals. Buyers who emphasize fuel economy can opt for the hybrid. While previous Malibu hybrids messed around with an underwhelming light hybrid system, this time the Malibu is a more efficient full hybrid, using what GM learned from their electric Volt. Now inside, you do give up some visibility for the Malibu's styling. The Subaru Legacy or Honda Accord might look more frumpy, but they're also easier to see out of. At least the rear camera is standard, and you can easily get advanced safety gear like forward collision warning with auto braking. Controls are pretty simple, with big climate buttons, the easy to use MyLink infotainment system, and Apple CarPlay. One hassle though, when you use CarPlay, the outside temperature display goes away. Seat fabric on the dashboard adds a bit of visual interest. Otherwise, this basic Malibu feels a bit, I hate to say it, but rental grade inside. This loaded Malibu Premier is quite a bit nicer, helped by leather and a giant panoramic moonroof. That niceness is also reflected in this car's price. Loaded with the two liter turbo, its stickers for $34,285. This more basic Malibu 1LT with all the safety gear, stickers for 27,985 bucks. All in all, this Malibu is a big step forward for this venerable nameplate. For more on sedans, check out consumerreports.org.